uh, now we've gotten our samples back out of the refrigerator and we're gonna add 500 microliters of RNA lysis buffer to each sample. So our samples are 250 microliters. We're adding um, two times the volume in this, kit, in this instance. Okay, now we've got 750 microliter volume, so we're gonna add 750 microliters of um, ethanol. And now we've got a total volume of 1.5 mils in each sample. I'm gonna vortex briefly and then transfer 750 microliters at a time into the spin columns. All right, so next step is to centrifuge. Make sure your lid is on, tightened, one minute. Okay. So after centrifugation, you wanna dump the filtrate and uh, again into the hazardous waste container because it contains lysis buffer. And even your washes, they'll go into the hazardous waste as well because even though it's mostly ethanol in the wash solutions, it still has some of that residual from the column of the lysis buffer. Okay, and then you're going to add 750 microliters in each sample into the spin columns. So next step is to centrifuge. So then after dumping the flow through, you're going to add 800 microliters of the wash buffer. And then if you hold it above the container, then you don't have to change pipette tips but if it happens to touch that rim, then you have to change it. So next step is to centrifuge. So then after dumping the flow through, another wash, the second wash buffer, 400 microliters. So in the Kyogen kit here, we have two different wash buffers and the CDC protocol is just the same wash buffer. But both of them have like a, a smaller percentage around 70% ethanol um, and that's required for a wash buffer. So next step is to centrifuge. Okay, so now we're about to dump again and then the very important step of dry spinning. In the final step, transfer the columns into fresh tubes. Okay, and now you see how the caps are open because the columns have their own caps. Uh, now we're going to add, in this case, it's just 25 microliters of the TE buffer. And for the Kyogen kit, we're using the AVE buffer that it comes with. And careful again, you don't wanna touch the, the column when you add it. And so then we're gonna let it sit for one minute. And so you see the tubes are put into the centrifuge with the caps pointing inwards. So that'll allow you to still be able to close, <laughs> still be able to close the centrifuge lid. So you can see how the, so now you can discard the columns and you see how these uh, caps are all crooked from centrifugation. <laughs> but, uh, and now you can, transfer the eluent to a fresh tube that's been pre-labeled. Okay, and then you are done.